I gotta give a big shout out to PRL Motorsports for sponsoring this video. Yo, 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 ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, welcome back to the channel. In the last video, you saw me remove the AEM intake, put the stock air box back in it, go down to IMW, visit D-Rob, try to get a dyno tuned, and unfortunately, that didn't work out because I have a CVT transmission. It can't lock into a gear ratio to do repetitious runs. So unfortunately, I can't give you any numbers. I need to take this stock air box out again. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get started. Got some 10 mils to remove. One here, one here, one here. Then this pops off. One right down there. And then I'm supposed to have another one here, but I never put that one back in because it didn't need to. It was pain in the butt. Two screws for the mass sensor. A ring clamp right here. And then another ring clamp right here. This is what it looks like with the stock air box out. There is a lower air box there. You can leave it. It's not going to affect anything. So for those of you who missed the first unboxing, let me do it again. First we have two bigger clamps, a smaller clamp. I'm going to call these bolt housings. I'm not sure. PRL silicone hose, the air box and the math housing and the filter. And then last but not least, two bolts. For those of you who don't have a strut bar, this should be easier, but for those of you who do, I think trying to get this vacuum line into that hose is going to be a pain, but we're going to try it out and see what happens. I do not want to have to remove that. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take that bolt housing and the bolt, and we're going to slide the bolt inside, and we need to place one of them right here, and we need to place the other one right here. It takes the number five Allen wrench. I'm going to get the hard part out of the way next. So you're going to take your hose, you're going to take your small clamp, you're going to put it over top of the small hose, and then you're going to take your medium sized clamp and put it over the smaller end of the hose. You don't need to do this one quite yet. You just need to make sure that these are on there before you put them on or you won't be able to tighten them down and make sure to put the clamps on correctly. Because if you don't, again, you won't be able to tighten it down. So it wasn't as hard as I initially thought, but what you have to do is you have to get this back in there, slide this on about halfway, turn it towards you. Don't have this clamp down here like this. Once you get it in the hole a little bit, pull this clamp up, turn it towards you, and you should just be able to push it right in. Now, you don't want to tighten anything up until you get everything in. It's time to put the air box in. Those two bolt housings we put in earlier, we're gonna slide these grommets right over top of them. And then the factory screw we took out at the bottom for this one, we're gonna slide right back in. But before we can do that, we need to put the hose over top of this math housing. Make sure to put the clamp over top of the hose first. Everything is in, it fits great, it went much better than I expected. Now it's time to tighten everything up. I 
I didn't notice this at first, but PRL did supply us with two Allen wrench bolts and they are size three. So you can use either the factory ones or the ones that they provided. I'm gonna to choose to go with the ones they provide. As you know, the holiday season is upon us and December is the month of giving. And if you were here last year, every video I posted in December, I gave away something. That's not gonna change this year. And in this video, I'm not really gonna give away something. My boy Isaac Martinez is gonna give away his Yofer spoiler. He said he didn't need it anymore. He wanted me to give it away. Now he did say it did have a ding and a dent in it. So if you're not worried about that and you want in on the giveaway, you gotta do three things. Number one, you gotta be a subscriber. Number two, you gotta leave a like on this video. And number three, you have to follow three IGs. Number one, at PRL Motorsports. Number two, at Effie.Isaac. And number three, obviously, myself, at 717 underscore project. Each giveaway will last a week. This video is uploaded on December 1st. The giveaway will end December 7th at midnight. She is all buttoned up and looking fly. Now it's time to hear what she sounds like. I wonder what it sounds like on startup. first impressions of the PRL HVI, I love it. You can definitely hear a difference and you can definitely feel a difference. And from the butt dyno, I'd venture to guess five to seven horsepower. And from talking to Spencer at PRL, that's practically what they were thinking as well. So if you guys are looking to get yourself an HVI, link is in the description. You can pre-order right now and they start shipping December 16th. Now, when you check out, do me a favor. There's a little comment box. Make sure to tell them I sent you. That way, maybe PRL and I can team up again in the future. So big shout out to Spencer at PRL for making this video happen. Thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. And as always, this was your boy Miller. I'll see you in the next one.